You want to do it slowly because they need to adjust. They're going to just, there you go. And see, that's, that's good. When you get it like that and they don't twitch too much, you know the water is just about perfect. It's okay, honey. Okay, yeah, now when you just start washing them. And you just run some water over their body. And then you're going to put some soap on the sponge. And then normally I start with the bottom and work my way up. I mean, maybe each dad does it differently, but that's how I do it. I just get a nice lot amount of soap right there. Okay, give me your other foot. Thank you, honey. And you just get around. Work your way up. Okay. Good job. Good job. Put some more soap on there. There we go. And now you got to make sure you do a really good job cleaning in here, obviously. You got to get right inside. There we go. And get right underneath there, right in the butt crack. That's a technical term, butt crack. Medical term. And the, the anti-rash cream will also get right there in the folds of their legs. So you really need to make sure you just pull the skin back and get it. Both sides. Pull the skin back, clean it out. Make sure that you keep their head above the water. Don't let their ears get underwater because otherwise the water can get in there and give them a little infection, which you don't want. Keep the soap going. Yeah, let's get under there. Okay, honey, let's lift up your arm. Okay, then you want to get on the chest. Soap it dope dope. Keep it coming. Good job, honey. Just keep it so. Get under the arms. All the way there. There you go. Thanks, honey. Good. Hey, we're almost there. Give me your hand. Okay, now you're going to clean their hands and then real fast rinse them off because otherwise they can put them in their mouth. And while it's not going to hurt them because it is special baby soap, it's not going to taste that great either. And you just do the same on the other side. There we go. There we go. Give me your hand. Thank you. Good job. Okay, and again, just rinse everything off as you're going. Okay, there we go. There you go. Now, you want to get under the neck also. Now, it's a little bit hard to get under there with the sponge, so I usually just do it with my finger. I just get all the way around under the neck, and usually I just use my finger to do that. And again, just keep rinsing off. Also, keep the water going over the body because it helps keep them nice and warm. Okay, there we go. So you're doing great, honey. You're doing great. Okay, you might want to just brush off a little bit. Again, make sure you've cleaned behind the ears. Normally, I just take the sponge, and at this stage of the game, I just run it behind her back a few times. Thank you. She's arcing her back nicely for me. And there we go. Good job. And she's rinsed. Good. Okay, then I'm just going to check and make sure I've got the back of her neck, too. Just rinse that off. Okay. And we now have one clean baby. Okay, so she's now washed and rinsed, and we're going to take her out. Let's move the shampoo soap out of the way. And normally I hand her to mom, but when she's not here, um, I put the towel here, and I just lift her straight up, and you want to get her there as fast as possible, and cover it as fast as possible, because she is going to be cold real quick like. There you go. Just wrap her up, like a nice bundle of joy that she is. There we go. And you just hold her close to you. And there you go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take her back to the bedroom and get her changed back into her clothes. Let's go, honey. Now we're going to get her changed. Now you got to do this quick because she's going to be cold. And the slower you take, usually the longer they cry. So let's do this as fast as we can. Hey, gorgeous. All right. We're just going to get you dressed real fast. So you need to clean between the toes like that. You just need to make sure that she's clean and dry, nice and dry. Hey, you. Hey, you. Good to see you, too. Good to see you, too. Let's get your hands, huh? Let's get your hands. There you go. Good. Other hand. Good. Check behind the ears. Everybody knows that. Good. I know, honey. I know. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Good job. Okay, we're going to put on the anti-rash ointment real fast. Here we go. And on the finger. 
There we go, all the way around. And make sure you get it right. Just as you had to clean it out of there, you got to put it back in there. And all the folds, all the spots, because otherwise they're going to get rashed up, and that makes for unhappy babies. Okay. Good. Now one thing that I forget to do often is to get the, the diaper unfolded beforehand. Not a big deal, but, you know, moms know those sort of tricks, and dads kind of have to learn them slowly. Okay. There she goes. Up and at him. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, good job. Let's fold the diaper over there. There we go. And again, not too tight, but not too loose. Got to catch the pee. Make sure these things are they're out. Good job, honey. Good. Okay, now we're going to get you dressed. Okay, and the next and last step is to put the clothes on. Here we go. There we go. All right. We're almost there. We're almost there. Hey, who's that? Yeah, all right. Let's turn you back over. So there, in sort of rapid fire order, is how you wash your baby. And how you get peed on by your baby, too, in case you were wondering. So... Mm. Until next time, thank you for watching The Clueless Father, and we hope to see you again soon. Yes, who is the best baby?